In today's video, we're taking a slow motion look at three very cool experiments that you may or may not have seen on YouTube before. Joining us for today's video is Todd from Kuma Films. You've yep. seen some of our footage with him before and it always turns out so cool, so we're very glad to have him here. This is how we're getting our slow-mo stuff. He's got the incredible camera that can do 50,000 frames a second or something <laughs> absurd really <laughs> fast. And we're very happy because of it. All right, let's get started. I'm excited. Here's the basic idea. We're gonna be taking a high frame rate look at making a cloud in a bottle, smashing some vacuum jars underwater, and clobbering some ferrocerium rods with a golf club. First up is an experiment that I first saw done by Steven Spangler. He's got his own YouTube channel and he does a lot of cool stuff. What we're going to do is take this empty soda bottle, add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and then using a bike pump and a rubber stopper, we're going to pressurize this up quite a bit. When we pull out the stopper quickly, all of that vapor turns opaque very quickly. A cloud just forms inside the bottle and it looks incredible. However, it happens really, really fast. So I, along with a lot of commenters on the original video that I saw, wanted to see it in slow motion. So we're gonna try slowing that down and see if we can capture the moment that cloud forms. That's cool. That little mist at the end too. Next up, we're gonna take some of these jars, put them in a vacuum to suck out all of the air, cinch down the top, and then we're gonna try smashing them underwater. We've done this before, but now that we've got access to a really high-speed camera, we've gotta see what that looks like.
Finally, we're gonna be scaling up an experiment that we've done here on the channel before. The little flint inside of a lighter is made of something called ferrocerium. When you hit it with a rough surface, it sparks a lot and that ignites the gas on a lighter. However, you can also get them in much larger pieces and we've shown lighting those off before on this channel. You heat it up till it's red hot, throw it on the ground and it kind of pops in a spray of sparks. We wanted to take that to the next level and just by using a little wire to hold it off the ground, see what happens if we wail on that with a golf club. This is just what I've always wanted to see done with the ferrocerium ever since I learned that it existed. So we've got our hands on some larger pieces. Let's see what happens to it. My golf swing is really good, guys. Like, really good. <laughs> Did not expect that! Holy wow. crap! Ow. Holy! <laughs> Thank you. 
Those were some incredible shots. I'm so glad we got to revisit them. Thank you so much to Todd from Kuma Films. Guys, you really gotta go check out their channel, the stuff they've made. There's a link in the description. They've got some incredible videos you are not gonna wanna miss. That was somewhat satisfying. Guys, craving more King of Random? Click right there to see our last video. We'll see you in the next one.